And what is that you say? That is the trailer for Tex Mars' brand new documentary, Die, America, Die. The Illuminati plan to murder America, confiscate its wealth, and make Red China leader of the New World Order. Welcome back, Tex. How are you? Hey, uh, Jeff. I, I'm, I'm doing great. Uh, it's wonderful uh, down here in Texas, and it's wonderful to keep up the great fight uh, well, for we... truth, which is what I know uh, you're very much involved in, uh, and, and is the reason why I have a new video out as well. Well, this is not just another new video, and I hope the music made the point. But you, above all people, I think, have continued to produce the highest quality wake-up calls for Americans who still can think and care uh, that anyone has. There's no one really close because you really do these yourself. You don't have a staff of 25 people producing these, and you stop by once a day. How's it going in there? I mean, you, you are the man who does the research, and you actually are you are one of the great critical thinkers and investigative research journalists in this business of trying to inform people. It's I'm so tired of people who put videos together uh, with the help of, as I say, a large paid staff of professionals. They're very good. Nothing wrong with that. But when an original does something that is this extraordinary... And die, America, die is, is you keep getting better and better. Uh, I don't know how you do it. I haven't seen the whole thing yet, but I would ask all of you just to take a look at the trailer. It's right there, right under Texas name. Just click on the description, die, America, die, and watch the trailer. I hope you'll order the video. Texas work is always extraordinary. And this, I think, is going to be a, a huge runaway bestseller. So how long did it take you to do this one? You know, it must have taken about six months, uh, and it's pretty full, pretty much full time. You know, since uh, we published my newest book, Conspiracy of the Six Pointed Star, and I turned all my attention on this. Yeah. And and you know, uh, Jeff, one of the things, and I'm, I, I I invite you to come down and visit us sometime. Well, thank uh, you. None, none of my videos have a script. They, you know, I don't have a script at all. Uh, I have, you know, incredible numbers of documents in my. Office looks like a hurricane hit it, uh -huh. you know, with books uh -huh. and articles, and and I I do have it organized. I will say that sort of all around me there and uh, all over the place. But uh, and then I just go and I you know I go for uh, ninety six minutes in this case, and then I I I cut out a few things to get it down to eighty minutes to make it really hard right. hitting. Right. Then I sort of regretted the fact that I'd, I'd taken out sixteen minutes out of ninety six or so. But, uh, you know, one of the things that sort of broke my heart on this video was the title. Uh, really, until, oh, oh, about a month before, you know, we released this, I kept thinking about that title because I don't like to think about America dying. Now, who does? Exactly. And so I said, die, America, die. Oh, I don't, I don't like that. But on the other hand, this is really a warning video, isn't it? It's, it's something where we tell people, look, we're going to give you 80 minutes of unvarnished truth, stuff you won't hear anywhere else. Uh, I thank God, uh, you know, maybe like a, a, a miniature Tim Tebow for giving me this information, but also so many people, hundreds, you know how much material you get, too, from people. And then, of course, you go one step further than me because you put it on your website so we can all read it and all learn from rents.com. But... In any case, uh, I didn't like the title, but I thought, you know what? This is true. There is a an ongoing murder and assassination. And when I say America, I mean everyone listening to our voices, Jeff. Right. Sure. This is this is us. This is mm -hmm. this is our country. We've been bathed, in it, immersed in it. You, you can't get it out of our our system till the day we die. And and so therefore, it's extremely important. But more than that, I ask myself, can we somehow save the last vestiges of it? And, and I don't know why. Maybe I'm too optimistic, but one way or another, I believe that Americans are going to come to the fore. Not all Americans. It never has been all. It never has no, it been. It doesn't the take all, you know? There you go. It doesn't take all. You know, Jeff, I'm going to ask your opinion on something because you, you really know the political world. I was reading today 
that uh, the Republican establishment, not mm-hmm. to mention mm-hmm. the Democratic uh, you know, party and such, mm-hmm. they are getting ready to blast the Dickens out of Ron Paul mm-hmm. if he wins the Iowa primary. And he mm-hmm. looks like he just might do that yeah. and shock everybody. Gingrich is falling uh, into a hole there as ratings are plummeting. It's amazing what Paul has done. Go ahead, please. Well, here's my here's my point about this. Uh, in other words, they're going to do everything they can. They're going to call him a KKKer and a militia guy and Won't a nine eleven truther. They, they will, sure. Yeah, they're going to do everything they can to stop this guy because, I mean, he really is trouble because he really does want to return us to the Constitution uh, and do what's right by America. They cannot allow that. They hate this guy. They despise him. Uh, they'll lie. They'll cheat. But uh, you know, I was thinking of that old saw, which is true. That first they ignore you, and then what's the next step? They uh, they make fun of you, yeah. call you a kook or a nut. Right. And then finally, when you've really been effective and they're mm-hmm. frightened of you, they attack you. Yeah. And then the yeah. next step, of course, is you win. Yeah. Well, I think they they tried to ignore him, although they still try to do that. They're still at it. Uh, yeah, yeah CNN saying. story the other day after the debate, 27 paragraphs, I counted it. Ron Paul was mentioned once in paragraph nine, and that was that all right? I could find. Oh, yeah. You, I mean, well, I was listening to Bill O'Reilly of the O'Reilly Factor on Fox, and I, I turned to Wanda, my, my wife, you know, right before we, uh, he came on. I said, Wanda, I'll bet you he will not mention the new polls that came out today that show Ron Paul leading. And and he, he won't even mention Ron Paul in terms of the polls. Let's watch and see. This is true. Wanda is my witness on this now. You know? uh-huh. and, and he came on, and he said, Basically something like this. Well, they said, we have, we have the new polls. In fact, we had the Gallup poll today, said Bill O'Reilly. Uh, and Romney has, is now ahead of uh, Gingrich, Gingrich by just a few points. Mm-hmm. That was his report. Mm-hmm. Romney is now ahead <laughs> of Gingrich by yeah. just a few points. Yeah. No mention of Ron Paul no. leading both of them. Of course. It, it was like, you know, I, I figure when Ron Paul wins... The New York Times will probably report, Jeff, and say uh, Romney second. Comes in second. No, that'll be yeah. their lead. Romney yeah. second. <laughs> and then about the fifth paragraph, they'll mention it, who, who won it. <laughs> right. No, it's, you're right. It's, it's amazing. But now, there's some things I know in my video, when, when you could ask the, the top ace reporter of the Chicago Tribune or Newsweek Time, some of the things in my video that actually were not that difficult for me to, to find out about, to discover, just by going to Google and reading, uh, you know, London newspapers and right. uh, newspapers from uh, Bombay and all kinds of places. You can find out in all this information that's not reported in America. We have the most controlled press yeah. uh, in the United States. And, of course, even Moscow, they, they do a lot better job of covering things. Uh, the American press is not only controlled, but it is staffed by the most cowardly, uninformed pseudo-journalists in the history of this country.